Hi all, this is Simona Rich. This is going to be a personal update video. I will talk about a few subjects in this video. And firstly, I guess I will share a short uh, video of uh, my walk today. It's so strange again the uh, the camera of the smartphone that I use just stopped working it happens to me all the time so I have to use another phone the video quality of this phone is not as good but it's okay it's acceptable um, so I was talking about A Course in Miracles that I keep studying it and I think now I'm on the lesson of 25 or 26 and um, at the beginning it was very easy for me to study A Course in Miracles. I was very enthusiastic to do it and then uh, when I started reaching around the lesson of 20, um, my something within me started resisting the study of this course and I think it's the ego because it teaches the destruction of the ego and uh, I continue studying but not as enthusiastically but all the course teaches is forgiveness you have to forgive other people and not judge them at all no matter who they are no, ma no matter what they did you have to stop judging them release all the attack because what you're doing is attacking and judging yourself and keeping yourself locked in this illusion that you yourself created that you call the world so basically because we're all one we're only seeing our aspects the aspects of ourselves and if we judge anything about other people we're judging your, ourselves and we keep our ourselves trapped in this illusion so basically the course teaches to to release you how to release yourself from the illusion by forgiving others and by seeing others as parts of yourself and if you really forgive others and you love them the way that you love yourself then miracles will start happening and your world will be transformed gradually you will start experiencing the kingdom of heaven within and you will no longer perceive any cruelties and negative things about this world so this is so interesting and um, you know this motivates me to continue studying this course and i finished studying the text but i studied it before as i t as i told before this is not the first time that i'm studying a course in miracles but i was this time studying the course by listening to it on youtube there are uh, texts by foundation of peace uh, that are recorded so the full book the entire book which includes text um, lessons and manual for teachers and some other supplementary information all of it is recorded and provided free of charge so when my uh, ritual so to speak now is when I go for a walk and I love my walks daily walks I listen to the Course in Miracles whilst I'm walking and I look at all the beautiful buildings when I walk I always go to the cathedral because I love the architecture there and I continue listening to it and my walk is so enjoyable it takes around a few like two hours because I walk slowly and I just enjoy the scenery and the words of A Course in Miracles so I studied it all now but of course every day I have to do different lesson and there are 365 lessons in total so i will see what happens and i hope that i will finish it and uh, now i was thinking i should also let you know that the uh, writing of palm mystery book is going so well i'm so excited about it because i was writing it for ages i've never ever written a book that long when an idea is born for me to write some book i write it within a few months but this book is taking maybe a year or something 
it's amazing really it, it's taking like a year and it never happened before so i think that i may have started it on a void of course moon when the work should not be started because it continues with obstacles and it's difficult to accomplish it so i'm sure i started it on that day because always something happens and it stops from me from writing it but at this moment in the quiet of this apartment I got into the habit of writing it every day and now I'm on I've written over 200 pages so far and I'm so happy because I think that it's uh, nearing completion and I will include the palm uh, readings of many celebrities especially Indian celebrities I'm more interested in that and I have more yeah, I have more interest about them, so I naturally gravitate towards checking their palms and it will include all the descriptions of the major and minor lines collected from old book collection of palmistry that I myself hold and I will use it. It's not only for my readers to read, but it's also for me to refer to uh, because when I'm analyzing the palms of my clients, sometimes there are some strange line that I'm not familiar with. So I have to always delve into many books to check what is the meaning of it. But now it will be all in one place. So I will use it myself also and it will include illustrations of almost every single line not every line but almost every line will include an illustration so that people will find it very easy to find that line and to understand its meaning so it's going to be a pretty comprehensive book uh, and I hope to release it soon and I also wanted to address in this video some comment that I received, which is um, I was making, I made a video about Ted Bundy's palm uh, reading and his birth chart reading. I found him a fascinating example because his palms are so telling. So I just, I had to do his palm reading. And then I received a comment from one reader that uh, uh, she wouldn't want to check that because she doesn't want any negativity and uh, you know uh, you know to she's not interested in such people so that made me think that I'm no longer affected it's like I read and I can read I can watch those people I can analyze their palms I can analyze their natal chart but um there is no effect, like I don't feel bad after analyzing the palms of such people or the birth chart of, the, of such people because, uh, because I'm practicing A Course in Miracles, which says, and even before that, I was like this, I just don't react to negativity and I am not negative myself and I don't judge others, I don't attack others and therefore anything that comes into my life if it doesn't resonate with that peace that I'm practicing, that peace that I feel in my heart, it's like it doesn't affect me. So I can analyze, you know, the charts of serial killers, but there is nothing that sticks from them to me because I don't have that vibration of attack. You know, if you attack, if you're negative, then you will uh, react negatively to people who attack for people who are negative but if you release all this from yourself then it's like yeah you can interact with them you can be interested in them for any reason and there is no effect negative effect on you and i think the last thing that i wanted to discuss in this video is that i'm so happy to tell that I'm accepting now my Lithuanian roots, which never ever happened in the past. And it took me many times of coming back to Lithuania to actually feel that I'm at home here. It never happened before since the time I landed in India. I felt my home to be there and India will always have a special place in my heart forever and ever. But now I'm accepting my roots, my heritage, where I'm from, and I'm happy to stay in my country. This is such a relief. I never thought it would happen to me. 
but um, I guess I don't even know why it may be I matured I was uh, always trying to work on my mind to release all negative thoughts I had many negative beliefs about my country so I worked on that and releasing on forgiving and releasing on forgiving and now I'm studying a course in miracles which makes me look at the world through the uh, vision of the spirit and not through the earthly eyes and so I see all the best in people I notice so many good friendly and happy people in here and I never noticed that before I always considered Lithuania to be like a cruel and cold place full of struggle but now I'm seeing it with different eyes so indeed a course teaches that there are two visions you can view the world through the ego through the eyes of separation through the physical eyes and it will only show death and loss and unhappiness and struggle or you can view the world through the eyes of the spirit which will bring out to you all the goodness that people do you will notice things that you before missed acts of kindness even the smallest acts of love done towards you because the eyes of ego never try to show you these things and they always hide your own misbehavior towards others making you feel that you're such a good person but it very much changes when you're trying to grow and then you notice that you yourself cause all the unhappiness that you experience it's not the world that causes your unhappiness but you yourself take action which makes you unhappy which is action done from separation from the feeling that you're separate or special more special than others or or attacking in some way even in thought of others and um, others and then you experience unhappiness but when you start acting from the your real self not from the ego then everything is changes everything changes and you see goodness and happiness and acts of love so really I feel like I'm in a different country than where I was born it's so amazing it's so much to do with how you choose to view your situation so Wherever you are, if you're not accepting it and if you are negative towards it, you're actually making yourself experience those things and being feeling that you're stuck. So if you release that resistance, you accept and you try to see the best in people, the best in your situation, that will help you to improve your life to such a degree when you see only the positive and then you can make use of it, uh, you know, to your advantage, to the advantage of other people. And this will help you to, you know, achieve what you want. And then you will find that actually you're not unhappy in, where you are but you're actually happy because it's the ego that makes us think that where we are we should be dis dissatisfied with but as a traveler I can tell that even the places that look the most magical some island you know when bloggers take pictures of islands that they work there and it's all, all awesome everything is amazing actually everywhere is pretty much the same there are some things that are positive in those places and there are some things that are negative it's just the mixture everywhere you go it's always like this but the ego tries to convince you that where you are is worse than what other people experience and it's a deception everywhere is pretty much the same just a um, different mixture of bad and good but it's always there is always bad and there is always good so why not just be happy with where you are and then you're not making yourself sick or miserable with your thoughts but you're at peace and when you're at peace and you see only the positive actually you can easily move if you wish to another place and then come back but then you will find that the kingdom of heaven is within everywhere you will find peace if you just change your view of the situation but if you choose to see the world through the eyes of um, separation then wherever you are even if it's the most beautiful place in the world you will always find something to be unhappy about so i wish everyone the sight of the spirit the sight which shows only peace and love and happiness so i will end this video on this beautiful note i hope you enjoyed watching it and have a lovely day